Hi, assuming we don't eat healthy or get enough exercise or have to deal with a lot of stress, our body responds by triggering inflammation. Inflammation, as you're all aware, is a swelling. It can be external or internal and can be acute or chronic. So in order to deal with this, we need to focus on the concept of omega balance. Hi, I'm Simu George, your real life wellness expert. Today, we're going to be discussing a little bit on the essential fatty acids or the polyunsaturated fatty acids like the omega-3 and the omega-6, which is not naturally produced in our body. And we have to rely uh, on getting them from the food that we are taking. We basically should have a good balance of the omega-6 and omega-3 in a proportion of 4 is to 1. As per the research today, 97% of the human population do not have the right to balance. In order to attain a balance of omega-3 and omega-6, it's not required to cut down on your omega-6 completely. But you can always reduce the intake of omega-6 by cutting down on your processed vegetable oils and increasing your intake of uh, omega-3, which is anti-inflammatory and it would also help in improving your cardiovascular health. Omega-3 is excellent for your skin, your hair, your bone health, um, your reproductive system. And uh, today it's believed that psychiatrists use omega-3 to treat uh, postpartum depression, Alzheimer's, attention deficits, and uh, bipolar diseases, and so on. Omega-3 is acquired from uh, fish oil, uh, flax seeds, and walnuts. Um, and omega-6 is derived from uh, processed vegetable oils like your sunflower oil or your soya bean oil. Um, you also uh, get uh, omega-6 from your eggs, meats, avocados, and so on. Of course, there are supplements available to attain the omega-3 and omega-6, but uh, let's look at it as an add-on or a, a secondary option and uh, concentrate or focus uh, basically on deriving these uh, from the natural food that we're taking in. A normal blood test will help you detect the uh, balanced proportion of omega-3 and 6 in your body. So why wait? Let's get started and focus on an increased intake of omega-3. All the best.